Hot Point presents America's favorite family comedy, The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here is Ozzie, who plays the part of Ozzie Nelson. And of course, his lovely wife Harriet as Harriet Nelson. The older of the Nelson boys, David, appears as David Nelson. And his younger brother, the irrepressible Ricky, played by Ricky Nelson. The Nelson's next door neighbor, Thorny, is played by Don DeFore. we do things. Wake up at the same time every morning, get dressed when we're half asleep, eat the same things for breakfast, get to work at the same time, do the same things over and over again. As Wordsworth said, the world is too much with us. You're gonna tire yourself out before you get up. Ah, it's the tempo of modern life. It's become so fast, nobody has time to stop and think for himself anymore. For instance, I feel like staying in bed today. But what do I do? Wait a minute. Why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't you what? Stay in bed. Well, if you want to sleep a little longer. No, no. I mean stay in bed all day, not move. What law is there that compels a man to get up every morning of his life? I don't know. What would happen if I didn't get out of bed today? Would the world stop rotating on its axis? Would the course of history be changed? No, but I wouldn't be able to make the bed. <laughs> hey, golly, that's just what I'm going to do. I'm not going to get up all day. I'm going to stay right here in bed. See, every once in a while, a man has to do just what he feels like doing. You heard about that guy who was piloting a ferry boat for 12 years, once he just left shore and went straight out to sea? Yes. And you read about that fellow a few weeks ago who was driving the local bus in New York? One day, he just took off and drove right on down to Florida? Yes. Well, these men showed strength of character. They felt like doing something. They didn't care what people thought. They did it. And today, I feel like staying in bed all day. What happened to the man who took the ferry boat out to sea? Well, the, he was never heard from again. <laughs> what happened to the bus driver who went down to Florida? Well, he, he was arrested and brought back. But that isn't the point. You better come downstairs. Your breakfast's getting cold. No, no, no. <laughs> You missed the point of this entirely, Harriet. I want to stay in bed, so I'm going to stay in bed all day. I don't care what people think. I don't care what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I know it's not going to be easy. I'll admit it's quite a challenge, but I'm going to force myself. I'm going to stay in bed all day. Ma said you wanted these cushions, Pa. Oh, thanks a lot, fellas. When you start feeling sick, Pa? Oh, uh, I don't feel sick, Dave. I just decided to stay in bed all day today. I don't get it. Well, I just wanted to rest up a little. See, the human body is like a machine. You have to let it cool off every now and then and make minor repairs. <laughs> What's this, your 500-mile checkup? <laughs> oh, it's uh, nothing as serious as that. The human body is like a storehouse of energy. It has to be replenished every now and then. It's like a bank account. You can't draw out without putting something in. Hey, that reminds me. Could I borrow a couple of dollars? Oh. Well, uh, uh maybe that was a poor example. <laughs> well, look in that left-hand drawer there, Rick. At any rate, I've decided to spend the day in bed today. Hey. Wait a minute. 
Today is Sunday. Yes, sir. Well, this is a fine time for it to be Sunday. <laughs> well, we'll see you later, Pop. Oh, no, 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 just a second, fellas. Uh, wouldn't you like to stay here with your dad and listen to the radio? Or maybe play chess or something like that? Oh, no, thanks. Why don't you get up, Pop? It's a beautiful day. Well, uh, I know. Uh, I, I can't very well. Uh, I promised your mother I'd stay in bed all day. Oh, heck, she won't care. Well, uh, I know, but I made a big thing of it, and I said I was going to stay here in bed, and, you know, I'm too stubborn. <laughs> that is, I, I can't very well go back on my word. I have too much willpower for that. Okay, we'll see you later, Pop. Yes, yeah, so long, Pop. Uh, um, uh... Told me you're spending the day in bed. Yeah. What's the trouble, old boy? Oh, nothing. I've just been feeling a little tired lately. I thought I'd rest up a bit. Uh, uh, move the guitar and sit down here. Well, thanks, Oz. I can't stay very long, though. Just came over to find out if you're going to the ball game. Ball game? Hey, wait a minute. There's a double header today, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, will you get my pants out of the closet? <laughs> Thorny, get my shoes, too, will you? How's everything going, dear? Oh, uh, uh, What have you got there, Thorny? Oz's oh. pants. Oh, uh, uh, Thorny, uh, uh, maybe uh, I'd, I'd better not. Uh, what happened? Why don't you go to the ball game with Thorny, dear? It's such a beautiful day. Come on, Oz. Well, uh, no, uh, Thorny, uh, a man's body is like a machine. It must have a rest. Uh, the bank account of a man's energy must be replenished from time to time. I'll see you later, Pop. No, no, uh, wait a minute. What's going on down the corner? They're moving a great big house on wheels, and they got it stuck between a tree and a telephone pole. I want to go see it. You should see what's going on down at the corner. Well, uh, yeah, I just heard about it. Don't you want to see it? All right, I'm not going to be hauled out of bed just to see a house being moved. Can you see anything from the window? No, just people running. For goodness sakes, dear, why don't you get up and go down there? You know you're dying to. Look, Harriet, I said I'd stay in bed all day, and I happen to have enough willpower to stay here no matter what happens. Hey! That's a fire engine. There's a fire somewhere. Can you see any smoke? What must be smoke? They're stopping around the corner. Is that the hook and ladder? How many engines are there? Gosh, I wonder if they got the cars out. They probably have to use chemicals and all with that oil and gasoline. You better hurry up if you want to see it. Do you mind if I go take a look at it? No. No, of course not. I'll be right back.
Aunt Martha. Oh, dear. Come on in. <laughs> I can only stay a moment. I didn't see you and Ozzie in church this morning, and I wondered if there's anything wrong. No, everything's just fine. Thank you for asking. It's just that Ozzie's spending the day in bed. In bed? Oh, the poor boy. What's the trouble with him? Oh, nothing's wrong with him. It's just that he decided this morning that he'd spend the day in bed. Have you taken his temperature? Oh, no, he's perfectly all right. I just think he felt kind of tired. Now, don't you worry. I know just what to do. Oh, <laughs> There, Susie. Mr. Thornberry told me you were confined to your bed. I brought you some flowers. A little. Hey, oh, well, uh, thank you very much. But really, uh, I'm not sick, Susie. I, I feel fine. That's the idea, Mr. Nelson. Just keep telling yourself that. A few weeks of rest, plenty of milk and eggs, and you'll be as good as new. Well, I'm as good as new right now. You're so brave. Have you heard anything about this new virus that's been going around? Yes, I have. Just don't think about it, Mr. Nelson. <laughs> well, dear, are you fighting the good fight? Oh, uh, uh, Harriet, you know, this may be more serious than we think. What may be? Uh, my condition. Come to think of it, I spent a pretty restless night last night. Well, it was probably that Swiss cheese and sauerkraut. <laughs> this morning, I, I tried to get up. The spirit struggled with the flesh. A losing fight if I ever saw one? <laughs> no, no, I, I mean it. Uh, I have a tendency to, to minimize things like this. Uh, but I've been thinking it over. This virus infection your Aunt Martha was talking about. A thing like that just isn't to be taken too lightly. You want the mustard plaster back on? <laughs> no, no, of course not. Well, then before I, I tried to get a little sleep, I, I closed my eyes, and I kept hearing this ticking sensation in, in my ear. You're probably lying on your wrist. Uh, my, my, my <laughs> I came up to tell you, dear, you have another visitor. Mr. Canfield from the lodge is here. Oh, well, we'll have him come in. Mr. Canfield, do you want to go right in? Thank you. Hello, Brother Nelson. Oh, hello. Brother Canfield from the Cheer Up Committee. Yes. I heard from Brother Thornberry that you were ill in bed. That's all I needed. Well, well. Thank you very much for coming over. It's really nothing. We certainly want to think that, don't we? How long have you been ill, Brother Nelson? Well, I I'm not exactly ill. I just woke up feeling a little tired this morning and decided to stay in bed all day. You know how it is. I certainly do. A man can fight it off for just so long. When he's too weak to stand any longer, he lies down. Uh, uh, attractive fruit you have on a the tray there. Oh, well, uh, help yourself. Uh, bananas plenty. Lost a lot of weight, have you, Brother Nelson? Oh, no, I don't think so. Face looks kind of drawn. <laughs> Light in here. They pick these bananas green. Can't beat fruit right off the tree. Oh, well, maybe you'd rather have an apple. Oh, I don't want to rob you. No, no, uh, help yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm you running the temperature? Uh, no, uh, no temperature. Well, you want to keep your spirits up. There's no time for sorrow or gloom in the short life. We're here today and gone tomorrow. <laughs> Cheer up committee's been very active lately. Lots of illness around. Oh. Oh, yeah, I, I suppose. How was poor old brother Peters? Awakened one morning feeling a little tired. No temperature, no symptoms. Too 
too bad. <laughs> Seems only yesterday. Did he? Yep. <laughs> Where'll I throw this apple core? Oh, right in the basket there. Is that an orange there on the plate? Oh, oh yes, here. Uh, help yourself. Oh, thank you. Well, I'll I'll be running along, Brother Nelson. Cheer up. It's an uncertain life for all of us. Yes, I. I guess you're right. Well, uh, thanks very much for stopping by, Brother Canfield. Only my duty. The thing for you to do, Brother Nelson, is keep cheerful. Oh, I'm pretty cheerful. Good. <laughs> Everything will come out all right. And the Lord stands behind you to a man. Well, oh, I, I know that, and, and I appreciate it. And if worse comes to worse, each member has a $500 insurance policy. <laughs> I usually covers everything, unless the family likes things fancy. Oh, no, I don't think so. I imagine just the usual... <laughs> well, goodbye, Brother Canfield. Goodbye, Brother Nelson. Thank you, dear. Ozzy? Oh, hello, dear. Oh, what a wonderful sleep I had. Oh, that's good. Hey. How long did I sleep? Is it still nighttime? No, it's broad daylight. I pull the shades down. <laughs> How about that? I slept right through. Hey, you know, I feel wonderful. Well, good for you. That's all that was wrong with me. I needed sleep. I'm cured. I feel like a new man. Good to see you up, old man. Oh, isn't this a beautiful day? Yeah, sure is. Oh, I feel great. You won't believe this, but I went to sleep about noon yesterday, slept all afternoon, all night, and just woke up about ten minutes ago. <laughs> now, wait a minute. You went to sleep yesterday noon? Yeah. Well, I was just up in your room talking to you a couple hours ago. Morning, <laughs> that was yesterday. What day do you think this is? What day do you think it is? Well, Monday, of course. <laughs> Oz, this is Sunday. <laughs> You mean I slept for a week? Well, not unless you're talking to your sleep. I just told you I was up in your room talking to you a couple hours ago. Well, how, and it's still yesterday? Of course it is. And if we hurry, we still have time to make the second game. Well, how about this? Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. I'm glad to see you're up again, Mr. Nelson. Oh, well, thanks. Uh, tell me this. Is Mr. Thornberry kidding me? What day is today? Same day it always was. Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> you feeling all right again? Oh, I feel wonderful. It's such a beautiful day, Mr. Thornberry and I are going to take in a ball game. Good for you. Come on, Oz. Okay, I'll see you later, Susie. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, hello, 
dear. How was the ball game? Oh, not so good. A lot of errors. It was kind of cold out there. What happened to your finger? Oh, this, well, it's really nothing. Honestly, you go to a baseball game, you really get disgusted with human nature. In what way? Oh, well, a bunch of supposedly civilized men start acting like a bunch of wild animals, tearing the shirts off each other's backs just to get at a baseball worth a couple of dollars that happens to have been hit into the stands. Well, that goes on all the time. Well, see, this ball was fouled off into our section of the stand, and I went to pick it up, and this big clumsy oaf stepped right on my finger. Well, in the words of William Shakespeare... No, 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 uh, <laughs> Wordsworth. What's it? Uh, why aren't you about to quote Wordsworth? The world is too much with us. No, no, I was thinking of another quotation. You should have stood in bed. <laughs> oh, you're right. Oh, uh, okay, when Rick comes in, here's the baseball. Oh. Is uh, dinner almost ready? Yeah, almost. Okay.